I didn't, um, <clears throat> I didn't take this immediately to my shop because I wanted to be able to lay it all out so everybody could see what I got. Um, but it did take up quite a bit of space in our house. So once we get this done, we get to package it back up and take it out to the building. <clears throat> so let's start right here. Um, I've got some vintage Christmas going on here. Some uh, vintage handmade stockings, paper napkins, cute little apron. How about those vintage clothespins still in the box? Uh, nice hand-painted plaque. Just some coat racks, vintage playing cards. Like, I like this tin. I don't know anything about it, but I like it. Here's some more cards. <clears throat> Got this ashtray here. And these little, um, I don't really know what they are, but they were made in Italy. So I gotta look at those. Some more paper napkins and an ashtray. Some owl trivets. There's a large trivet, and then a whole bunch of little small trivets that I've never seen really never seen miniature trivets before so this is a Royal Hager planter and another neat tin that I got back here um, I have a turquoise aqua carnival glass two-tiered tr serving tray I've actually never seen one of these so um, my initial look is I there's not many out there for sale so I don't know what happened, probably got broke, but it has no chips or cracks or damage, and it is just absolutely a beautiful piece. Behind it is a awesome mid-century lamp. Um, that's just one of the coolest lamps I've had in a long time, so very pleased with that lamp. Nice Ellie Smith Moon and Stars jar. This one actually has no chips in the lid. That's actually really hard to find. Beside of it is a carnival glass Ellie Smith jar. And then these, I just love these. I can't help myself. I keep buying glasses. These are actually plastic glasses with a print on them. And H.J. Stoddard Incorporated, USA. New York. There you go. Just set a six of those, and there's a one tiny little tumbler. So, <clears throat> behind it, I got a canister uh, orange mushrooms. That's just pretty awesome. Some books for our hobbies, matchstick holder, and some more paper napkins there. Coasters, vintage unopened, display trays, and over here, oh, this is like one of, when I saw these, I just kept throwing them in the pile. So, these are Vera Newman, you can see here, they're sets of placemats, so there's a nice set. These are all from like the 70s and 80s when she was really popular. Um, kind of hung together there. Those are really pretty. And then right here, these are not marked Vera, so they're not, but they're definitely retro there going on there, red, orange, and the green. I just could not help myself. <clears throat> oh, and then in the back, you can see it. Is an immaculate trash can. It's plastic with uh, the printed on mushroom, butterfly, and turtle. I thought, how cute is that? Um, now, a lot of the stuff in this next section is actually personal. Uh, the kits and their models. So, this bag is not garbage. It's actually model kits. Um, vintage fan. Vintage ice chests. we got two of those. More models, games. That kind of stuff. Another vintage radio for our collection. So, yeah, we got quite a bit of stuff. You can see that here. Like lots and lots of stuff. We'll do one more once over. So, you can see it one more time. Yes. And so, you can see there's quite a bit of stuff there. If you have any questions, give me a shout out. We'll talk to you soon.